good morning students today we will discuss about contract involving c routes this is the last portion of sale of goods act so some of the major contracts that involve c routes or uh, rail route which need a shipment so the question is when will the ownership transfer to the buyer is a question so under such contract the ownership transfer along the delivery of goods are the questionable and who should bear the expenses of this delivery also is a question so let us discuss in detail what are this type of contract and when their ownership is transferred etc the contract number 1 is fas contract or free alongside ship contract fas stands for free alongside ship here the ownership in goods sold under this contract passes from the seller to the buyer when the goods are delivered to the buyer alongside the ship named by the buyer under the contract of carriage it means here when the seller passes uh, the ownership is passed from the seller to the buyer when the seller are uh, delivering the goods to the buyer alongside the ship named by the buyer say the moment the seller deliver the goods in by mentioning the name of the ship say when the goods are shipped to the goods or board to the goods uh, ship and it is notified or if that is notified to the buyer all the ownership the ownership will be transferred to the buyer and the risk of loss also will be transferred to the buyer so the duty of the seller here is to notify the name of the ship that is already mentioned by the seller sorry buyer and intimate say board the goods to the uh, ship and intimate that to the buyer so once the intimation is over the risk of loss and the ownership will be transferred to the buyer okay and notify the buyer immediately the goods have been delivered alongside the ship say you not the buyer the seller have to board the goods but he has to the buyer so the buyer has to take the risk of loss because he will become the owner of the goods once it is delivered uh, by the seller on the ship okay so even though the goods have not directly delivered to the buyer the goods are bought to the ship once the goods are bought to the ship automatically ownership will be transferred to the buyer now fob free on board for free on rail contract here the seller has to put the goods on board or on rail at all uh, the seller's expenses earlier what we mentioned is f uh, as contract seller's duty is to just to board the goods but all the expenses should be met by the buyer because buyer becomes the owner but here the seller has to put goods on board on rail at the seller's expenses seller is responsible for bearing the expenses of loading the goods to the rail or ship but the buyer should uh, uh, should the expenses of uh, should bear the expenses of freight insurance and all other expenses so till it is boarding it is a duty of the seller to pay the expenses here the ownership passes to the buyer as soon as the goods are put on rail or board board means ship dock we say dock or ship i think you understood what i said earlier the it should be it was under the expenses of the buyer only thing is seller has to notify the ship so most of this case the buyer itself will arrange the insurance 
and uh, the seller's duty is to just board the goods to that particular ship that is notified by the buyers. Now, here it is the seller has to find out a ship uh, or the rail and should keep all the expenses till it is boarding. But the remaining expenses like a freight, insurance and all other expenses should be met by the buyer. And the ownership of passes to the buyer as soon as the goods are put on board or rail. Now, the last one is CIF cost insurance and freight. Cost insurance and freight contract. Here, when a buyer order goods from a mer merchant abroad, then the seller having uh, seller have uh, having insured the goods and delivered them in a common carrier like a ship obtained the bill of lading. Then he make out an invoice of goods showing the amount to be recovered from the buyer. Three documents that is the invoices, insurance policy and bill of ladings are sent through the seller's bank. The bank collect the price from the buyer and deliver the documents to him. What happens here is, the, when a buyer buy goods from abroad, the merchant all, uh, abroad already would have insured the goods. So, that insured amount plus the delivery charge and all other expenses will be recovered from the buyer. Because buyer has already insured the goods. And that insurance premium paid by the seller, sorry, the seller has already insured the goods. So, he should have paid the insurance premium. So, that insurance premium will be recovered from the buyer plus all other invoice and all the other expenses will be recovered from the buyers. But here, the ownership will be transferred only when the buyer receives the goods. So, the payment is done, insurance and all the document is transferred. Only after the document is transferred, the payment is done, the ownership will be transferred. Okay, because it is already insured by the seller. The goods are already insured by the seller. So, seller would have paid the premium for insurance. So, the three documents, uh, invoices, uh, insurance policies, and bill of laddings are sent through the seller's bank. Seller will sell through his bank that is there in the buyer's place. Say, for example, a person uh, importing something from US. So, the goods are already, if it is a CIF co contract, cost insurance and freight contract. So, cost of all the transportation should be met by the buyer. Insurance of this con uh, con uh, transportation, insurance of this particular goods that is already done by the seller, but that premium will be recovered from the buyer. And all the total food uh, expenses of the import must be uh, bear by the importer, the person in India. Okay. So, uh, but the document, this uh, ownership will be transferred only when all the documents are transferred and the payment is done. So, that is all about this particular chapter. We will uh, come with a new uh, more videos in the next chapters. Thank you.